Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for May the 26th of 2020, well, it is titled The Milky Way Over Snow-Capped Himalayas. So what do we see here? Well, we see a number of things. In the foreground, we can see a lake, and looking up, we can see reflections of the sky within it. And off in the distance here, we can see some of the Himalayan mountains. These are some of the most recently formed mountains on the Earth. And they are very jagged and rough, which is a sign of recently formed mountains, meaning that there has not been enough time for wind and water to wear them down, as it has with much older mountains. Now, mountains are very common throughout the solar system, although those on Earth are formed by a different process than other mountains we find on other planets. On other objects, things like the moon, we see a lot of mountains that are formed by impact craters, so remnants of large impacts from long ago that has thrown up material and built mountains. On other places, like Venus and Mars, we see mountains that are volcanic mountains. Only on Earth do we see these type of mountains that are formed by plate tectonics. And those happen when two plates crash into one another. So in this case, the Indian plate is crashing into the Asian plate, and as they crash together, the material on them crumples up and forms the great mountains that we see. Over the next few millions of years and tens of millions of years, they will eventually get worn down. So what we see is nice, sharp, jagged peaks will continue to change over time, and they will eventually become worn down, much as older mountain ranges that we see around Earth today. So by how rough the mountain range looks is how it tells us something about how old it is. Now, when we look up into the sky, we also see a number of different things, and that includes the Milky Way galaxy here stretching across the Himalayas. The Milky Way shows bright star clouds and many dark dust clouds. With the dust clouds not there, the whole thing would be bright, and that is because the dust blocks out light from behind it. So the star clouds are actually the combined light from many billions upon billions of stars that make up the plane of our Milky Way galaxy. However, there's enough dust around and bigger clumps of material that blocks out the light from behind it. So in most regions, we cannot actually see this. Now, we also see uh, a planet in this image, not just the Earth, which of course we do see down below, but the planet Jupiter, located here just above the plane of the Milky Way galaxy. And we see a number of stars. All the stars are within our Milky Way as well. But the prominent reddish-orange one off to the right-hand side is the bright star Antares from the constellation of Scorpius and the star towards the heart of the Scorpion. So here we get to see a number of different things, a number of stars, a planet, and some locations here on the Earth, in, including the Himalayas. So that was our picture of the day for May the 26th of 2020. It was titled The Milky Way Over Snow-Capped Himalayas. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Earth from Saturn. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.